Hello, welcome back to Miss Anderson's Marvellous Maths. Now, let's have a look at what we're going to do today. So it's session five. So we're halfway there, can you believe it? And in session five, we're going to remind ourselves what we learned yesterday. So what did we learn yesterday? Can you remember? Counting in fives, fabulous. Now, did you have a bit of, pra bit of a practice? Excellent, well done. It's really good to practice, isn't it? Now, who remembers the magic circle game? Yay. There's another number under the magic circle today. I'm going to give you clues and you're going to see if you can work out what number is hiding under the magic circle. And remember, if you want a bit longer, you can press pause and you can have as long as, long as you like. So you ready? The number under the circle has two digits. Remember, that's two numbers next to each other. So it can't be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, can it? Because they're one digit. Here's the next clue. The number under the circle is more than 27. So it's a higher number than 27. Oh, that is a higher number then, isn't it, today? The number under the circle is less than 39. Oh, so it couldn't be number 40 because 40 is more than 39. And this number is less than, less than 39. The number under the circle is an even number. Oh, so remember that means the number at the end, the second digit, is an even number. So two, four, six, eight, or zero. If you add the first digit to the second digit, you get the answer nine. Oh, what could that be? Hmm. Remember, pause if you want a bit more time. Hello, welcome back. So here we go. Are you ready? What number did you have? Let's see if you were right. The number under the magic circle is 36. So here we go. It's got two digits. So three and a six, two numbers. It's more than 27, but less than 39. Yes, it is. It's an even number. There we are. There's a number six at the end, which makes it an even number. And if you add three and six together, you get the number nine, don't you? Well done. Very well done if you got that one. I was a tricky teacher then, wasn't I? So here we go. Today, you will need nothing, just yourselves. No equipment needed today whatsoever. And today we are learning to count in tens. Now this looks quite familiar, doesn't it? Yesterday, we were counting in fives and all of this row was shaded yellow and this one. Today, just this row is shaded, this column. Hmm. So why do you think those numbers are purple? That's right, on this 100 square, we are counting in tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. What do you notice about all of those numbers? Hmm, now I notice that the first digit on each number is getting higher each time. Do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the last digit on all of these numbers is zero. That's because they are tens numbers. Now, now we know that, let's move on to a bit of counting in tens. Now, counting in tens is even quicker than counting in ones, twos or fives. Let's see if you can count the fish. But remember, you cannot count one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, no, no. You need to count in tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So let's do this together. You ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 
60. How many fish? 60. Hooray! Is that the number you got? Now, with counting in tens, I really want you to try and count in tens. But if you need to count all of them, then write the number underneath and then add 10 more each time until you're really used to it. That's fine as well. Anything that helps you practice is good. Now, here are some beautiful balloons. I'm going to give you a task to count these balloons in tens all by yourself. Give it a try. Might feel a bit hard, but have a go. The more you practice, the better you will get at this. Then remember, counting in tens is every tenth number. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Pause the screen and give yourself a bit of time to count them. Well done, over to you. So, hello, welcome back. How many bunches of balloons did you count? Did you count 70? Brilliant, well done. And remember, you've got to be really careful about counting in tens and these tens numbers. Don't get confused with 17, which is a one and a seven. This is 70, which is a seven and a zero. Now, let's see what we're doing next. Now, if we're counting in tens and I have 30, which number will I say next? Yes, that's right, 40, fabulous. Now, what about if I have 90 and I'm going to count to the next 10? How many will I have? Yes, 100, brilliant. What about if I've got 10 and we're counting to the next 10? 20, good work. What about 50? Yes, that's right, 60, well done. I'm really proud of you. Now, who can chant with me. Do you know what chanting means? It means saying something over and over again and if you do that you'll find that it sticks in your brain and next time you go to count in tens it will be a bit easier. Now I find if I clap and chant at the same time it helps me remember too. So you ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now that was good. But should we see if we can go quicker? You ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Right, I'm going to ask you to pause this screen. And I want you to continue chanting those numbers until you can remember them. So are you ready? Press pause now and I'll see you back in a moment. Hello, did you do it? Fabulous, well done. Now, I wonder if we're going to be able to do it without it on the screen. See, so ready? Let's clap again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Over to you. You ready? Press pause. Have a go by yourself. Did you do it? Well done. And remember, it's not just about chanting. Make sure you are counting every 10 as well, because that will all help you. And remember to be a super counter, because in counting in tens, if you count too many or too few, you're going to get the wrong answer. OK? Now, that's the end of our session today. In the next session, we're going to be learning all about one more. But until then, see what you can count in tens. See if you've got groups of anything, any groups of ten around you where you are right now. Goodbye. See you next time.